Shooting USA's impossible shots. Covering the champions and the challenges that raise the shooting sports to art. Rob Youngblood is a West Coast guy, so we like to give Rob West Coast assignments. A chance for him to enjoy and soak up the California sunshine he loves so much. Unfortunately for Rob, however, his most recent trip to Cisco came with unexpected weather and an even more unexpected shooting location. This time on the wonderful world of flying, how small airplanes can make you a better pilot. Plus, should you be a flight attendant, the pros and cons of... No, 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 no. This show is Impossible Shots. We follow some of the best shooters in the world, not airplanes. But why is the master gunfighter Cisco walking through the rain at an airport? Have no fear, fans. We are still going to show you an amazing Impossible Shot, but this time, we had to get a little creative with our venue. Where we normally shoot our, our segments is up in a, a canyon called Cajon and it's probably around 3,500 feet uh, elevation level, and for sure they're gonna get snow. I guarantee you it's snowing up there right now. We were set up to go up there early this morning and get started, but I knew that wasn't gonna happen. So I had an ace in the hole. This is where our club, the deputies, shoots all the time. This is Cable Airport in Upland, and we're allowed to use a hangar here. So I knew if all else failed, we could at least get a shot here, and the whole day wouldn't be a waste. So now you know the story behind all the airplanes. Thankfully, it was not snowing at the lower elevation, but it was raining hard. So inside we went, and Cisco's guns started blazing. This shot for me is something completely different. I've been shooting right-handed for the last 40 years, so I started training left-handed in 2011. And while that wasn't hard enough, to shoot both guns at the same time is very, very difficult. Here's what we've got this time for the ultimate impossible shot. Cisco pulling two guns at the same time. 45 caliber Cowboy Fast Draw Limited Edition Rugers. And he will be hitting an 18 inch swinging steel target from just about 15 feet away. First shot, we're gonna take a crack at it right handed just to show you that it's comfortable and feels good. Then we're gonna shoot a couple left handed. Then I'm gonna to try to hit that one target with both guns at the same time. Here we go. As expected, Cisco's run through with one gun, right-handed, is an easy effort for the world-class shooter. So it's on to the next step of the warm-up. Now let's try left-handed. We've done it three times right-handed and hit the target, three times left-handed and hit the target. As hard as this is, it is still the warm-up, not the impossible shot. Time for two guns. You know, I started doing left-handed just to see if I could do it, see if my, you know, always challenging your skills, trying to make you better and faster and stronger. And it came relatively easier than I expected it. So then I started thinking, what if I'm gonna do both at the same time? Is Cisco still thinking that this is relatively easy? Firing with that left hand at the same time? We're about to find out. Well, that wasn't as hard as I thought. <laughs> you know which one is the center? The right one, that's my stronger hand, obviously. Wow, sure enough, he seems confident heading into the impossible shot. But don't let that fool you. Just because he makes it look easy, doesn't mean it is easy. To put them on one target, not that tough. But when you have a target swinging back and forth, to dial both draws, two different sides of your brain, on one target as it's moving, is a lot more difficult. When I'm drawing two guns and I'm following one target, the right hand has to trail the target. If it swings this way, the left hand has to ambush it. I'm actually triangulating the shot with two guns, having to cock the hammers with single actions and hit it while the target's moving. It has proven to be a very difficult shot for me. You know, I know the show's impossible shots, and for anyone out there who'd like to try shooting with their offhand simultaneously at a moving target, feel free to take a crack at it. 